Hey guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to Little Art Talks. This week's five artists in five minutes is all about one of my favorite things in the world, food. Yeah, let's get started. It's hard to talk about art and food without mentioning the long history of food still lives, but one painter who made still lives uber interesting was the Italian painter Giuseppe Archimboldo. He's known for his curiously fascinating portraits of heads constructed entirely out of objects. And they're not just items chosen for their shapes, but also for their meanings. Rudimus is a famous work of Archimboldo where he depicts Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II as the god of seasons. Using a variety of fruits and flowers from all the seasons, he constructs a face out of pears, peaches, grapes. Well, you get the picture. Fruits and vegetables symbolize the abundance of the Golden Age under the Emperor's rule. Wayne Thiebold is an American painter known for his paintings of sweets like cakes, pies, and candies. His interest in the commonplace objects like lipsticks, paint cans, ice cream cones, and hot dogs often lead him to be classified in the pop art movement, though some argue that he actually isn't a pop artist as he began working in the realm of everyday objects in the 50s, slightly predating the more classic American pop artists. When compared to the cool soup cans of Andy Warhol, Thibaut's cakes are warm and sentimental, playing on the collective nostalgia. He uses thick impasto to literally frost his cakes while using bright pinks, light blues, and yellows. While Thibault's cakes are perfectly frosted and delicious looking, Dieter Roth is a Swiss artist known for his works of art involving rotting food. Portrait of the artist as a birdseed bust is one of a group of chocolate multiples Roth made in the 60s. The title refers to James Joyce's novel, A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man. However, in this bust, Roth dismisses the sentimental image of an artist portraying Roth as an old man made by a mixture of chocolate and bird seeds. It was intended to be mounted on a post in open air and consumed by birds until nothing remained. Unlike traditional busts made out of marble or bronze, this sculpture would be completely destroyed, showing the inevitability of aging and body decay. Lopez Garcia is a Spanish painter who actually does paint still lives, sometimes described as hyper-realistic. Garcia is the head of the Madrid Realist, a group of painters and sculptors committed to working from direct observation. Still lives have a strong tradition in Spain from its golden age, though it doesn't mean that they're old-fashioned. Skinned rabbit depicts just that, a skinned rabbit prepared for cooking. The head is left on and the rabbit is arranged in a fetal position on a glass plate with a scalloped edge. The shocking realism of the rabbit meat is sometimes uncomfortably compared to an infant. The death is unmasked, the eyes clouding with milky liquid. The light gray walls add to the almost sterile feeling environment, adding to the coldness of this quiet yet violent still life. Fallen Fruit is a collaboration based in Los Angeles. Originally started by David Burns, Matthias Vigger, and Austin Young, the collaborative work has since been continued by Burns and Young. The group began as a response to the Journal of Aesthetics and Protest, who called for artists' projects that addressed social or political issues in a manner that proposed solutions. They created a public fruit map growing over public properties in a neighborhood called Silver Lake in Los Angeles. On the map, it says, take only what you need, say hi to strangers, share your food, take a friend, go by feet. Their interest in fruit is shown in their name, but fruit also plays in some manner in their work. They have said they like fruit as a media because it is transhistorical and crosses all classes, ages, and ethnic groups. Fruit's highly symbolic and aesthetic qualities have made it the most common food subject in art, known for symbolizing things such as goodness, bounty, and generosity. So there's five artists whose work has to do with food. I hope you guys found them interesting and fun. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe for more videos. We have a Patreon page if you would like to support us. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.